allow me to acknowledge the young people in our parliament who do tremendous work. Kimani Chungwa, I still consider you a very young person, a majority leader. Aaron Cheriot, majority leader in the Senate. Chief Whip Osoro, you are a young person. Chairman of committees. And I want to single out your excellency, two young people that are doing a tremendous job. Ndindi Nyoro, the chairman of budget, and Kuria Kimani, the member for Molo, the chairman of finance. Brilliant young people. You listen to them, and you see we have a future for this country. So as young people, I'm told you are from Iala, from the Senate, the National Assembly, and our count assemblies. Don't be told the future is yours. Your future starts today. The space you occupy, you must use it fully to help change this country. All of us as members of our country must pick a leaf from our Savior Jesus Christ. He lived and worked actively for only three years. And he was murdered at the age of 33. And today, the name Jesus makes every knee bent. Three years only. So it's not how long you lived, but how much you did in your life that matters. As parliament, I have told your chairman, we will support you in every way we can. Now that the Bunga Tower is open, we are going to renovate Continental House. I'll avail you sufficient space to have your offices there so that you can be able to operate within the pressings of Parliament. The Parliamentary Square is now looking good. You can do your meetings uh, wherever you wish. And as Parliament, we'll continue supporting you. But young people, this is your country. This country belongs to everybody. Don't be hoodwinked into any ethnic definitions and cocoons that can undermine our country. When you sit here today as a Kenyan and you hear somebody has been shot in Mandera, you feel the pain of that person because he's a fellow Kenyan. If you are told a typhoon has swept the Philippines, you will flip the newspaper and read on because you don't have that personal touch and affinity. Let's be each other's keeper. Let's be patriotic. Let's love our country. And above all, young people, focus on what brings this country together. Focus on what grows our economy. In parliament, in your count assemblies, in Iala, and everywhere. Let me finish by also telling you that when you listen to BBC, you listen to any international media houses, our president is defined as a young president in Africa.